Hi, Shaughnessy North, President and CEO of Excel Realty and Mortgage, and I am excited to come to you with an awesome new lending program here at Excel Mortgage Services. So, our industry on the real estate side, it has slowed down a lot. The reason for that is purely due to interest rates. There's still a huge demand to want to buy homes, but interest rates have, since the beginning of 2022, have really come up by three percentage points on the rate. So, you know, that's, that's a lot, and that is really slowing down the market. So what does a, a seller do? They put their house on the market, let's say they're, they have a $900,000 uh, list price on their, on their property, what are they gonna do? Are they gonna reduce the price by 20, 30, 40, 50,000 dollars? Because that's probably what you would have to do to start getting some traction if you're not selling at that $900,000 purchase price. So what we've come up with here at Excel Mortgage Services is called a temporary buy down of the interest rate. And I'm gonna explain exactly how this all works. But the, the, the thing that you gotta take into consideration is the main thing that's driving problems in the market is interest rates being as high as they are. We know uh, in this industry that the interest rates are going to be lower here in the near term. Most people believe in the next 12 months to 24 months, interest rates are gonna be a lot lower than they are now. And what happens is, as soon as those interest rates start coming down, it's a buyer frenzy again of people wanting to get into homes with these uh, lower interest rates. So the smart buyers right now are trying to find ways to purchase the home in today's environment where they don't have to bid way over the ask price and uh, go in with no contingencies and all this crazy stuff that people had to do before. So the way that this temporary buy down works is pretty simple. Basically, the seller the, is the one that's gonna fund this and it is a reduction of the interest rate that we can get the borrower or the buyer at that time. So let's say we can get a 6.75% interest rate today for the buyer on a $900,000 purchase, let's say they're putting down 20%. So if that's the case, then it, the first year, it would be a 4.75% interest rate because it's a, what's called a 2-1 buy down. So for the first year, it's two percentage points less in the interest rate. The second year, it's one percentage point less in the interest rate. The third year, it just goes up to the actual interest rate that the loan is at. Well, again, we believe rates are gonna be a lot lower in the next 12 to 24 months, and therefore, we're gonna be refinancing these loans right you know, at that time anyways. So it's a great opportunity. I'm gonna show you how this all works, so here you go on that. Okay, so let's show you how this actually works. Uh, so there's a 2-1 buy down, there's a 1-0 buy down. On a 2-1 buy down, your interest rate is gonna be two percentage points less the first year, one percentage point less the second year. On a 1-0 buy down, it is gonna be reduced by 1% from what that current market is for the first year, and that's it. Uh, the 2-1 buy down costs a little bit more than the 1-1 buy down, but again, probably makes a lot more sense right now. So to show you how this works, on a 2-1 buy down, if we used a 720 loan amount, and we said, hey, that interest rate is 6.750, and the length is going to be a 30-year term. When we uh, calculate this, what you'll see is the, the, the interest rate is 6.750, but for the first year, it's actually 4.750. The difference in monthly payment is $914 per month. The second year is 5.750. Still the difference in payment is $468.19 per month. The cost is shown here. So it is $16,586.88 to purchase this 2-1 buy down. And so the way that we're suggesting you go about this is the, instead of the, the seller reducing their price um, on this $900,000 purchase price, let's say, they were reducing it, they're gonna reduce it by more than $16,586 because it's not gonna really change anything if you only reduce it by $16,000. 
they probably realistically have a reduction of at least thirty thousand dollars to make this have some buyers start you know taking a look at this. But if they are only putting in this you know less than seventeen thousand to help the buyer out. Um, and the buyer gets this great interest rate of 4.750 and has a really good um, reduction in their monthly payment for the first year, uh, it's going to really help. Let me show you what the difference would be if we just used a difference of, let's say, $20,000 as a reduction in the purchase price. So meaning that the seller, uh, instead of doing this buy-down amount, it's just going to say, okay, I have a house listed at nine hundred thousand. I'm going to reduce it to eight hundred and eighty thousand, and show you what the difference for the borrower would be in the payment differential. Okay, so if the buyer was uh, purchasing a property at nine hundred thousand, they're putting down twenty percent, let's say. And again, here at Excel Mortgage Services, you don't need to put down anywhere near twenty percent. Um, we have conventional programs that are 5% FHA, that's 3.5%. We have down payment assistance programs and everything in between. Jumbo programs that go up to $2 million with 10% down and beyond. So um, we have a lot of options here, but let's just use this as an example. So it's $900,000 purchase price, putting down $180,000. It's an interest rate of 6.750. The payment on this is going to be, well, actually, let's go through this. So it's 900000 purchase price. The loan amount is 720000 So the payment on this is going to be $4,669.91. There's property taxes, obviously, and homeowner's insurance. And But let's just focus kind of on this part of it, the principal and interest payment. So $4,669. Well, if your borrower said, hey, I want to... Um, just get a reduction of twenty thousand in the purchase price instead of the seller financing this buy down amount that we're talking about. It would be we're going to still use that still that down payment of one hundred eighty thousand. Um, so it's an eight hundred eighty purchase price, still the same interest rate. So the loan amount is only seven hundred thousand, and that it makes a, a principal and interest payment of four thousand five hundred and forty dollars and nineteen cents. That's only a difference of $129.72 on the monthly payment. So the way that we're suggesting that you go about this would be a substantial difference in that monthly payment for the first year and still a very substantial difference in the second year. Okay, so you can see what a huge difference in payment that this actually creates for your buyer. And for your seller, it's a great deal as well. The seller would have to reduce that purchase price by what, 20, 30, 40, 50,000 just to get kind of things rolling. But they're only really coming in in this scenario with you know, less than $17,000 to help the buyer out. And the buyer's getting a huge reduction in their payment. Again, from the difference of, of reducing the, the purchase price by $20,000 to doing this 2-1 buy down, it's basically a difference of about, for the first year, $785 or thereabouts per month. So it's a huge difference for that buyer. And again, huge difference for the seller too. You gotta explain this to everybody. We gotta you know, help each other out. Now is the time to lean on each other. The realtors out there and the loan officers really need to work to figure out what programs can help a buyer get into contract. And again, the smart buyers are out there looking right now because they know that in the near future, if rates come down like we think they're going to, there's going to be another kind of seller's market out there where there's going to be, you know, bidding over the list price and no contingencies on deals, which is not fun for anybody. So um, get, them, get them to understand this right now. It's a great program that we have here. Uh, and some people are asking, well, what happens if the, the borrower wants to refinance, let's say, in less than a year? Okay, well, the, what, that buy-down amount that the seller paid for, they're actually going to get back a certain percentage of it. So it's not like it's lost or anything. You can use it for closing cost credit for the refinance or whatever. So it's a huge deal. It's, there's, it's kind of a no-brainer out there right now for buyers to be able to get a low payment. It's still an amortization over the 30 years. There's no difference there at all. So it's a great, great program. Um, if you want to learn more, talk to one of our loan officers. We have awesome loan officers here at Excel Mortgage Services. 
And uh, you can visit us at teamerm.com. That's T-E-A-M-E-R-M.com. And let's do some business together, guys. Let's keep this market moving. Bye-bye.